with Miles Sanders, appearing on NBC Sports Philly's Takeoff with John Clark on the podcast. Miles Sanders said, I need more opportunities when asked what he needs to get better this season. He's also been quoted saying, don't draft him in fantasy uh, because he he needs more touches and he, he seemed visibly frustrated. Uh, Rich, are you kind of buying into his frustration as, as like the state of the Eagles and we should be wary of this? Because Sanders was kind of looking at an ADP where he's kind of a value um, if he's going to be part of another big rushing pie. Listen, I've been telling my wife for a few years I just need more opportunities to get more consistent. <laughs> <laughs> still, not, still not happening. Uh, you know, Miles Sanders is interesting for a couple levels because, uh, like, everyone's kind of right. Like, he's going to score a touchdown this year. But, like, it's the ancillary stuff with Miles Sanders that's a concern, and that's the stuff that he's kind of alluding to without, like, outright saying. Uh, you know, this is a team that's going to run the football. He's been hyper-efficient. They're – the, the RPL runs uh, are going to be – look at his, his yards for touch have been over five yards for touch every year of his career. But how many touchdowns is he going to score? He's, and he's, he hasn't scored more than six touchdowns in his career yet in a season. Uh, his receiving work has just plummeted but it, every year by year. He's hardly catching the football. So, like, those are just – it's like an archetype of running back I just don't really want. And then when you look at the Eagles in totality, like, th- look at this. So I just posted an article today on the site – that talks about like touchdown dispersal and 56% of the Eagles touchdowns were rushing last year. It was the eighth highest rate of any team in the NFL since 2010. Uh, the seven teams ahead of them all rushed for fewer touchdowns the following season, an average of 7.8 fewer rushing touchdowns as a team. Now that's going to impact Jalen Hurts more probably a little bit with the 10 rushing touchdowns he had. But like how many more, like what kind of touchdowns is Miles Sanders going to score? We know he's going to score more than zero, but like is he a guy that's going to threaten to score like eight, 10? Probably not. And like I said, without him catching the football, like just not really the kind of back I'm interested in like taking a shot on. Although I can see where people say like, yeah, I drafted him here and he finished above that ADP, but he's going to be a guy that like, you're probably going to talk yourself out of playing on a a good number of weeks because he'll have a three or four week stretch where he doesn't score a touchdown and he's not catching enough passes to insulate his scoring. And you might bench him for a week if he has a tougher matchup and then that'd be the week he scores. And you're like, well, what the hell? I'm not going to get right. Like, I'm just not really interested in the archetype of player Miles Sanders is. And it's frustrating because I think he is, like, potential, like, arbitrage and, like, a guy like J.K. Dobbins uh, in a similar, like, kind of offense, relying on big plays, not going to catch the ball a lot. But, uh, like I said, not really my kind of guy. Travi, I just wanted to throw in there real quick. If anybody hadn't actually listened to Miles Sanders' comment on that question, there was such a sincerity and a defeated tone in his voice where it was like he's like look i've told you don't draft me he's like two things came out one the system is not going to allow him to get the opportunity that he wishes and two he wished that he did have more but it's just not going to be happening like he paused for so long and he's like it's not gonna happen (laughs) i I love it i'm fading on that one now that was real to me i love the honesty right here You made it to the end of the video. Our algorithm overlords tell us you need to subscribe now.